started as a teacher assistant, then I moved up to be a substitute, which that was a promotion. Then after that, I became a special ed teacher, and then I moved to um, North Carolina, and I became a teacher here. So knowing what kids experience, but also knowing the potential they have. So growing up as an ESL child, then I became an EC teacher because I noticed that there was a lot of kids that were identified EC, which were really not EC. It was just like a language deficit, which they were confusing. So I know the population started growing and growing. Sometimes the educational system did not know, like, what do we do with all of them? <laughs> they can't speak the language, but that does not mean that they had deficits in learning, right? So understanding all that growing up made me become a special ed teacher. So I would be able to really filter out that some kids did not need special ed services. They just needed straight, strong classroom education. And that was what allowed me to become a principal then because I wanted to impact a lot of lives. The younger society, the Hispanics, to understand that we do have a lot of potential, that there's a lot of routes that the society and community is set up to help us. We just have to shift our mindset and just think differently of what's set out for us. That if they have any questions or if they want any mentoring or they need any support, they could email me, they could contact me, and I am more than willing to be able to support them.